Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending March 2nd. This is going to be a one subject show based on a device that me and my friend tried out after we purchased it, so I'm just going to get right to it. Here are the basic parts that come out of the little sack here. You've got the shoulder mount with the chest pad here. This is the place where the camera mounts, and then you have two other adapters for different types of camera mounts. And then you have the strap that goes around to secure it. So it comes basically with four main pieces. And I will put it together and put it on and try it out. This is my review of the Dotline DL0370 camera stabilizer. parts as I drop them here. Anyway, this is the whole contraption right here, along with the strap to hold it securely on. And it basically is just a knob and a spring mechanism. There are two main parts here. They're not really super cheaply made. You could probably even drop this several times and it would not break. So nothing's really cheap and fragile on it so far. Um, from close up, you're not going to mistake this as being something worth uh, two hundred dollars like some of the camera stabilizers although it's a similar design and there are some things that's lacking that the other more expensive designs have but first off I will just put it on to show you now in some of the pictures I've seen demonstrated they show this like right in the middle of your chest I think it actually works better a little bit offset to the side and it fits me just perfect but depending on the person if you're a lot shorter or a lot larger than I am I'm about five seven so if you're a lot taller or a lot shorter, this may not fit you quite as comfortably. And then once you get it so that it's braced like this, you pretty much just tighten this knob a little bit here. And you take this strap, and you take it around like this, bring it around to the other side. It's adjustable too, there are adjustments in the back. And then you just hook it onto this part right here. And that pretty much does keep it tight on you. I mean, the thing does not move around a lot. And then you have two other pieces available for it. If you have a DSLR type of camera, you would probably use this piece and mount it right here so that your camera would be pretty much at eye level. And uh, another thing that helps stabilize it too, if you use this for a handhold and do this right here, it really helps you stabilize, especially with your breathing and stuff like that. Although it's not as bad as I thought really. If you breathe normally, it does not add a lot to the movement. But you also have this thing that extends out a little bit and the more you do extend out the more your movement's going to be accentuated so as you extend out with more extension so you have this mount here you have this extension mount to go out farther and you have this mount here to bring the level higher and you can use them in any combination you want pretty much um, one thing you do not have is you do not have any way other than moving it on your body to be able to tilt the camera this way and that way um, and then panning around would be using your body like this and as far as if you had to actually tilt down like this, it's just you have to move your body like that. So that's kind of a little bit of an impediment. I mean, you're figuring for this whole thing, you're paying 38 bucks anyway. So what do you really expect to get for 38 bucks? And I think if you consider that, you're, you are still getting a pretty good thing for 38 bucks. And there's actually a way around this. Let me show you a device that I ordered and picked up for like 12 bucks. Um, I've even heard of people picking these up for just 2 or $3 even on eBay sometimes, depending if you could find them or not. Let me go get it. Now this is what I am talking about right here. It's an adjustable tripod head and you just loosen up this screw here and then it gives you pretty much a full range of motion. You can actually tip your camera all the way down, all the way back up again, and you can even rotate it around and do different angles. So let me put it on here real quick to show you. This one is called a Giato. And I got this one for uh, 12 bucks on Amazon. Let me put it on here and then cinch it up. Now, for any camera, I have the full range of motion. I can tip it down. That part really, to me, is important because I would like this for doing projects where my hands are free. You can actually be working on something on a table and have your camera mounted straight down, and you don't have to keep your eyes off your project or keep looking at the camera. You just have it tilted down the right way. The other thing you could do is add this piece, and actually, when you're walking down the street, actually be filming yourself without having to hold on to a camera, too. So 
I'm thinking about that. The reason why, actually, that I decided to get this is uh, my friend Mick and I, and he'll, his review will be coming up too, my friend Mick and I were talking about how much it costs, like 50 bucks for the GoPro chest mount. And once you get the chest mount, I mean, the camera mounts right here, and there really is no flexibility at all. Whereas this, for, you know, 38 bucks, which is a lot less than 50 bucks, you pretty much get a lot of different, you know, a lot of different mounts, a lot of different elevations. And then with something like this, I've spent a total of 38 for about the same amount of money, actually, for all these pieces here. And I've gotten a lot better rig, at least I think myself. So what I'm also probably going to do in the future is actually show you guys some of the videos of uh, me walking with it, using it, facing different directions and stuff like that. But just right now, as a preliminary review, um, I think for spending 50 bucks, you get a lot more for your money than you would with a GoPro chest mount. That's just me personally. Um, another thing I'm thinking too is if I was using this on my motorcycle, I haven't decided yet if I really want to use this contraption particularly while I'm on the motorcycle, I may actually do some modifications with this part of it here and add another little strap. I've actually got a strap ready to go, so I may just drill a hole, put two more little rings like this, and just use a lower strap if I need that for a little extra support. I may not, but I'm just thinking about that as a possibility. So anyway, that is my review of the camera stabilizer. Let me get the model number again. DL0370, and I will include it in the links where you can uh, log on to Amazon. Also, B&H Photo has it. I think at the time I ordered this, B&H Photo had it for 38 bucks. Amazon had it for 40 bucks. but check prices all the time because they can go up and down a little bit. But that's the way I made it work, and uh, so far I'm very satisfied with the purchase, I'll have to say. Thanks, Chuck. Well, today I want to do a product review for a hands-free shoulder mount for camcorders. Um, it's an item that I found on eBay Australia, um, quite by accident, I must admit. I was uh, looking for a toaster at the time, so go figure there. Um, now, I bought it from an eBay dealer called BPS World 6. I'll put it down here for you. He's located in Melbourne, and just looking at his uh, history, he's quite a reputable dealer. I paid $38.79, including freight. Uh, unfortunately uh, for him it took six days to be delivered to here in Queensland which is pretty slack customer service considering that I can get stuff out of the USA and it's delivered to my door within 10 days so that's one area he needs to pick up on. Okay now uh, when you open the package uh, first thing you notice about the box is a flag of the USA there and uh, well, it's not made in the USA, you probably guessed by now, but it's made in China, that's right. And the other thing that gave it away was the instructions, which are in Chinese too. Fortunately, you don't need the instructions because it's very simple to work out. Um, what it does have down here on the bottom is a, uh, a Yahoo email address for the manufacturer and a website, uh, here it is down here too, www.gzbeck.com. If you're interested in actually selling uh, this sort of item, uh, you will find some links uh, and you can order up uh, from uh, a minimum of 300 items at a time, so you may be interested in uh, selling those, but I'm not. Anyway, let's have a look at the item itself. Uh, it's made of um, uh, ABS, which is a common thermoplastic. It's uh, another ingredient, it's called KK6, and I sort of Suss that out, and it's some sort of membrane, and it's also fiberglass, but uh, very robust, very strong, uh, good hardware on it, and very lightweight. So quite a rigid item. There's not a lot of flex, hardly any flex at all in that. Uh, when you look at that on its own, it weighs 440 grams, which is 15 ounces, and it also comes with a couple of other mounts, and altogether the whole lot's 580 grams or about 20 ounces. Now, I'll show you these in a minute, but uh, to fit the mount itself, very simple. Uh, you got a little grub screw here, which you un... I'll hold it up so you can see it. A little grub screw here, which you undo. And this little leg here is spring-loaded, which I think is an excellent idea. So you just pick which shoulder you want to put it on, find a comfortable position, and then do up the grub screw. Now, the other disappointing thing about it is you have a look there, it tends to list a little bit to the left and when it's on the other shoulder it's the other way. So um, unless you have scoliosis, um, 
you will need to correct that and uh, a simple way that I've found is uh, with this chest plate mount here uh, there is a little bit of a gap there on one side so you can pack that out maybe with a bit of foam or something so um, a bit of a manufacturer's fault I think uh, I don't know maybe he was living on the side of a mountain when he made this thing but um, it's nothing that can't be fixed now the two other mounts you have a little bracket like so and a long bracket like so there are all the uh, grub screws are all slotted including this one up here uh, that means that uh, you can uh, make all different sorts of configurations and take different size cameras set them at different heights and so on uh, the grub screws themselves are for standard camera mounts which is good news there's no adapters needed at all and that also means that you can use your uh, GoPro mount as well so now I'll just take this off and you see it packs down very quickly just release the grub screw and she falls down um, it comes with a shoulder strap which uh, fits actually under your arms and up on the uh, side of the mount you'll see a couple of little key rings on either side um, that is what the straps obviously fit to um, it's a webbing strap quite strong looking uh, got spring loaded hooks there and the hooks are also swiveled so they look reasonably strong um, I feel quite confident that uh, that'll hold the camera no problem the other good thing is that uh, there's a quick release buckle just here which you would probably mount on your chest here so it's uh, easy access um, the other thing you get with it is a carry bag I'm not sure what uh, sort of material that is but it's the same as what you get with your helmets it's got a uh, little drawstring bag there so you can keep all your bits together now uh, a score I would probably give it a seven uh, mainly because of the little listing problem you have on the side even though that is um, fixable but uh, I think that the manufacturer could uh, come up with a, a sort of a, a leveling system himself which would uh, enhance his product um, other than that uh, the freight was the only other thing that I was uh, disappointed in so um, I've got an idea uh, I was looking for a type of shoulder mount and uh, I'm going to uh, develop this I'm going to make a few modifications to it myself and Chuck uh, quite kindly is going to give me a shout out on the dumpster diver report when I have that finished and up on my own channel so that's it back to you Chuck thanks Mick now that's it for this show take care everybody I will catch you next week